All right, so we're back. So what I want to do now, switch over here to the screen, and let's play some melodies. And listen for how the tones raise and lower. Here's a piece of music that's a thousand years old. Let's go back to the board here. And one of the things we want to talk about is that music doesn't necessarily go from A to B. Music goes from A and comes back to A. What you're going to find, and I'll explain this over the next several lectures, is that music wants to come home. And here's what I mean by that. When we start talking about the actual composition of songs, where notes are used, where we have what we call tonic, where we have uh, diatonic, where we talk about things, and I'll, I'll go into these tail, details, but what you're going to find is, is that music wants to come home, like this. If, I, if we go back and sing the children's song, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Notice that the last word is also Do. It's up Do, 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 Do. Well, why is it that we say the same word for two different pitches? Well, the reason is, is that those two different pitches actually are what are called an octave apart. They're the same notes. It's just that one is lower and the other one's here. That's called an octave. It's eight notes. We're going to get into these details. But if I stay there, it would be very uncomfortable for you. We want to go there. And music does that. Music doesn't leave us hanging most of the time. Now, there's some examples where that's the case, but We'll play some more of that, and let me give you another example for you right now. <laughs> 